Hey, how's it going? This is Rama from Rama Time, and welcome to episode four of my satisfactory playthrough series thing. And this is my base. So you can see here we have built the starter base and tried to keep it quite neat. And in the last episode, obviously, we built this monstrosity. But this is something that we will fix up as we unlock more parts and make it look a little bit prettier and expand it when I get some faster belts. One of the things that I want to be looking at today is to actually start creating the parts for the first tier of the space elevator, which will open up tier three, meaning that I can unlock some better stuffs. And you can see here we have the metal plates being made, as well as the rotors being made. So they're the first bits. I need to also have modular frames being made. We might expand another floor of this just to do that. And the idea is purely that this just ticks over while we're off doing other stuff. Now, I cannot just leave it running because my power is running on this biomass system over here. And it's crap. I need to fix this up. So I'm thinking of moving it to maybe up there, clearing those trees and making it a dedicated area with a bit more... Uh, modularity so that I can expand it if needed but I do have this kind of cool thing where I can pop all my leaves and my wood into these two bins down here and it will go through here and come out of there a solid biofuel which I can then use to run around and put into all of the burners so it's it's quite good it's a good little setup to start with because we're still a little way off coal uh, I think I can't remember if it's in tier three or not but we'll find out and yeah so we're we're doing all right we're doing all right I've got my little mall here I need to do something with this as well. This is the awesome sink. I need to place that somewhere where it's going to live. I might have a few of them dotted around. To be fair, that could be being fed with all of this stuff because that's all backed up now. So I'm going to have a little think about what I'm going to do there because we need tickets. We need a lot of tickets and I'm going to throw a bunch of rotors and metal plates in there to speed that up. Back. So whilst not recording, I did do a little bit of tidying up, and I also I had a little adventure, just a small one. I went out and I collected some bits. I found a, a, a couple of drop pods, and I managed to get one hard drive out, which I'll start doing in a minute. I also found some quartz, uh, some sulfur, bauxite, and some caterium, so that we can do some uh, research on those and start start looking at those. The sulfur is going to be really important for making explosives, which we're going to definitely want. I also found a couple more slugs, so we can start researching those. And yeah, there's some high end stuff as well, like a heat sink, uh, these circuit boards. I can possibly throw these into the, uh, the sink there and get a bunch of points for them, which might be really handy. And yeah, I got a bunch of mycelia as well. This stuff is really, really useful. So it's kind of quite tempting in the early game to just delete this, but I want to keep as much of this as possible because you can use this with these to um, make inhalers, which we will be unlocking soon. And then the inhaler you can use to get all your health back, because as you may notice, I seem to always have low health where I'm constantly jumping off high things. So let's load up on some bits and get some research done. So there's the inhaler. Now we need five of those. Yeah, we haven't got enough. Oh, we need 100 frames as well. So it's gonna take us a little while yet. Inflate a pocket dimension. This is a definite I want. The rebar gun, we can actually do that already. So we will unlock that soon. It takes five minutes. But that means we can shoot at things because we can use spiked rebar to shoot at things. So that's a start. Uh, Kyterium, so we can scan that. That takes three seconds. Nice. Okay. Ah, look, we can also scan New that. Resource added to the resource scanner. So with Kyterium, we'll be able to make quick wire. And quick wire is really, really useful for the Mark II power poles and so on. You can have um, more things connected to them, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but we need quick wire for that, so we can't do any more on that. Petals is fully done. Uh, I still need to find nuts. I have not found any nuts yet in all of my travels, so I think I need to head out into the desert to find some of those. Power slugs. So that's just stuff. I can do that. That's to scan for slugs. Yellow power shards. I can do this one. So let's just go ahead and do that one. Kaboosh. Okay, that needs a more frames. Okay, we can't do that one just yet. Uh, it's a shame to actually have to use a purple slug as well to do that because that's worth five power shards. Now, a power shard is used for this overclocking. And the idea of this is that you can push a machine to create more at the expense of using more quicker. So you can maybe overclock the iron ore production 
so that it goes into the systems quicker. But let me just grab some bits so we can start researching that. Grand, and that will then allow us to unlock crystal oscillators, which is a, something we'll worry about later. We can also just do the silica just to get it done. There we go. Sulfur. So this is where we're going to find our explosives and weapons. So black powder. Um, we also need coal. Now I don't, I don't know if I'm actually near any coal. I can't even search for it yet until I unlock number three yet. So, okay, we'll come back to that one. Let's do our hard drive. So we can scan our hard drive. That will scan. It takes ten minutes, and then we'll get an alternate recipe. So while that is scanning, I want to have a little look at something. If I just expand this area here a little. And let's just plop down an assembler. Ah, oh, I need rotors. Well, what a fortuitous happenstance that I have some just there. Boom, boom, boom. Turn around that way, right, okay. So let's just pop this down here for the moment. Okay. And now if I tell it that I want to make smart plating, it uses one rotor, one thingy. So, now if we just very, very slowly with Mark 1s go from there to there. And we have this creating smart plating, it will make two per minute. Now we need to get a hundred up into that baby up there. And we can run a, a thing and have it automatically go in. Or we just let it build up inside itself. Hmm, not sure, not sure. Let's connect some power. That will fill that up and it will start doing its thing. But we're producing more than we'd be using. So this isn't supposed to be the most efficient, fastest way to get this. It's just supposed to be quick. But I'm, I don't know, shall I run up a... I could run up a, uh, a conveyor belt so it sends it all up automatically. But uh, maybe I won't bother just yet. I'm just going to pop up there real quick. Let's see, I think we can go up this way. So I just wanted to double check. It actually only needs 50. So this won't take very long at all. If it makes two per minute... In theory, it'll actually only take 25 minutes. So we will be able to unlock that tier pretty soon. Oh, this was the other thing I found while I was out. I got myself another doggo. So I have two doggos. Let's see. What are you going to give me? Flowers. Great. Thanks very much. And you have got limestone. Great. I'll put that in the bin. Cheers, guys. You did really well. No one gave me an idea in the, for a name in the comments in the last video because I don't think anyone watched it. Uh, so I still don't have any names for these. Again, if you want to leave a comment and give me a name, then do it. Cool. Failing that, why not leave a like just for these two guys? Bless you. I did want to show you this real quick. One of them brought me this. And that is a nuclear waste tin. Which, if you get too close, you can see it starts to radiate you and take your health away. And I had to run over there and just throw it into... Yes, cheers you. And I had to throw it just in, over there out of the way for now. So where did he find nuclear waste in this planet? It makes no sense. <laughs> Unless there's something bigger afoot. I don't know. That is now making our smart plating. We've got four already. This is perfect. This is going to get us well underway. Now I have a few tasks to do. Let's have another little think now that that's going, what we're going to be doing next. Okay, so I have a little thought here. My awesome sink here. I want to be able to just chuck things that I'm... Instead of binning things like I did just a minute ago, I want to chuck things into a, a bin and then have them just throw it straight into my awesome sink. So that's what we're going to do. This bin is going to be the one for doing that. I'm looking for some power to connect this to, but everything seems to be full already. What's going on? For example, if I chuck something in here, like these... Oh, I chucked everything in. God. You'll see that they come out, and they'll go straight into there and start generating points. Cool. Okay, so we've got 21 at the moment. That's not a bad start, but I do want more. So let's have a quick look. Now, we have these here circuit boards and these heat sinks. These are really valuable because to make these is really hard. Now, I'm not going to be using them for a little while, so I'm just going to go crazy and chuck them straight into the sink. And they're going in. Yeah, we can see those numbers are going down much, much quicker now. The rotors are doing really well, actually. Look. Hey there, you. I think you might be a bit lost, right? Are you dancing? What was that all about? 
Night death. Here it comes. Oh, look at that go. 23. 24. Oh, they're worth a fortune. Nice, nice. So, 24 tickets, and that won't be too long before that's quite a lot more. Our hard drive is about to finish, so let's have a quick look and see what we get. Right, we have the option of... Ooh, ooh, so we can make copper wire through chitarium. Useful. Silica through limestone and quartz. We don't need that just yet. That would actually be quite a good one later, I believe. But then there's this one that uses 18 plates and 50, but it creates three of those. As opposed to 16, no, six plates and 12 to create one. So this can make then 15 per minute so this is going to be a really good one once we open up the faster belts because obviously getting 50 of those into a machine takes quite some time with the Mark II belts but let's go ahead and go for that one now that's going to be the most useful one for the time being but we're need, going to need to find a bunch more of those because there's some really useful alternate blueprints especially once we start messing around with oil and fuel and, and that sort of thing we can now check our awesome sink we have 25 coupons so let's print these there's our coupons Thank you. Now I want the important stuff. So, I want the doors. I want to be able to walk through doors. I want windows, because that makes a massive difference. So that's 11 tickets. Done. Foundations. I want these ramps. So we'll have inverted ramps. I want these pillars as well. So we've got seven left. So we've got vehicles. There's the factory cart, which is obviously fun. Uh, but we're not here for fun. Uh, walkways are six and then those are seven so I think that is what I'm gonna go with so walkways and those and that's exactly 25 tickets but that at least gives us some stuff to do some nice decorations ho 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 coming back though I want to be able to unlock these ones that's not so important just yet but it will be soon the hyper tubes um, we haven't even unlocked yet and the conveyor wall mounts are really useful for um, for neatening up the conveyor belts so that they go around the walls and they can look absolutely beautiful as well if done nicely just for now I'm gonna set up a super super quick thing here just to start putting all of these into there because I kind of might as well the idea of this is that it's just a simple setup to throw various different bits out of my stores into the awesome sink just to start making tickets it will take forever because it's not going to run that down very quickly but at least if it's just doing it stuff's ticking over and I'm making tickets but now I've got two options one is I can pretty this up or two is I can fix my power now I probably should go with the sensible option first let's go and fix the power so right now my power setup is just over there it's all right but it's not very neat and it's just ever so slightly at capacity so what I'm thinking is I will make an area that takes you up to there and that it will live all up there. I'll clear all of that out up there and we'll plop it up there. Yeah, let, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that, shall we? First of all, we need to get rid of all those trees. And there we go. Right, now we need to build something to get up there and a nice flat area to, to work on. So let's go on with that as well. Kaboosh. And there we go. Right, so as you'll see that this is now all clear. Uh, and I've made this kind of nice looking area there. Basically there are three storage bins in there. So the, the stuff that gets made out of there will always go through these three storage bins before it hits that one over there. And come take a quick tour with me. So as we can see we now have these nice walkways. Um, I've tidied up this. It goes up this conveyor belt. And then yeah, I added some windows up there so I thought it looked nice. And you just make your way up here. And here we have 16 biomass burners. So the idea here is you come to this and you store all of your stuff, basically uh, any, anything you're carrying. You come to here, grab all of that, and you go around and you fill each one up, one at a time. There's 16, it only takes a minute or two, but it, it does the job. And then when you're done, just come pop all of those back in there, grab all your stuff, and you're good to go and carry on. So try to be a bit organized. Like I say, if we come around over here, we'll see... Oh, look, that pole's in the wrong place. Got to fix that. Tidy, tidy. There we go. Because all the poles are tidy and neat and, and all on the sort of outside. But yeah, this is the, the area just over here. So like I say, it comes through this nice window. Uh, all the stuff comes through there. And yeah, it, it, it's good. It's good. I'm, uh, I'm liking it. Um, 
there's also enough room for expansion. So we can either add more if we need to. There's uh, plenty of room either side. Um, or we'll repurpose this to something else at the point when we get coal. But either way, that's a pretty nifty solution, I think. And that will cover my power for some time because we are producing 480 megawatts. Obviously, right now we're using none because it has this kind of circuit breaker here. If for whatever reason I lose power and I need to fix it, I can just detach this cable and get it up and running again. Shouldn't be necessary, but just in case. So, let's connect her up and see everything kick back into action again. There we go, everything is now moving and uh, grooving. <laughs> and uh, you can see over there, we are making the biofuel already. So that's now doing what we would hope. Anyway, that is the power system sorted out. The next thing I do want to do is fix up this building here a little. But to be honest with you, it's kind of working all right at the moment. It doesn't look the prettiest, um, but it's working. So I might actually just leave it for a little while. That's all doing its thing. Have I got any more tickets? I have two tickets because I realized I didn't unlock one thing that I really, really wanted, which was the conveyor walls. Yeah, and I need those. They're five tickets. I didn't, I forgot this. I really, really want this so that I can send things up through a proper conveyor wall. Now over here, I've done a little bit of a cheat and I've used a doorway. You can't really tell, but it would be nice to have it done with a proper conveyor uh, wall. So cool. Anyway, right, let's go and see what's next. Well, I'll tell you what's next. It's this. I have my 50 smart plating. So let's pop that into our inventory and let's take a quick wander up here. lum de doo Up to the space elevator. This is the only problem with not having it right near the base. <laughs> uh, it's quite a walk to get there, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm not in a hurry. Alright, I'm in a hurry. Come on. Okay. So, pop them in. We're going to load it. We're going to seal it. And we're going to do the deal. Ho, 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 ho. was cool. What happens now? Oh, it's ready for the next lot. 500? Wow. Okay. That's going to take a little while. <laughs> My 50 at a time. Wow, wow, wowzers. Right. And these things. Automated wiring, frames. So let's have a quick look. Uh, I don't think... I. I blah, 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 blah. Right. I certainly haven't unlocked any of that yet. I think I will just add a bin here. Um, I need my chainsaw. I don't have any fuel on me though. This is purely temporary. There we go. Just so that it starts throwing those into, into there. Here we are at the hub terminal. And coal power. This is what I want to unlock very, very desperately. Oh, and we can do it already. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, so we can sort that one out. Vehicular transport. This is a good one, actually, because we can set up a tractor system so that it's going and collecting um, maybe some other stuff. Perhaps that's to do with the coal. Uh, we could set up a power plant at the back there by that water because we can extract water. And it's good to actually set it up so that your power plant is nearer water because water is much more difficult to move than coal. So we could then go off and find a coal node somewhere, set up a, a little tractor setup, and just have a tractor bring in the coal back. Or we could run belts a really long way. But either way, we could probably get three or four extractors into this water. Maybe I think maybe three. Um, and that would be enough to run, if we did three in there, that would be eight coal generators, I believe. Which would give us, what is it, 45 each? 45 times eight. That's 360 megawatts of power we could get to subsidize that, which I want to phase this out, obviously. But what am I running at, at the moment? 260 and everything, pretty much everything is running. Well, these guys actually aren't. Mm. We'll have a think. We could use some power shards to get a bit more juice out of them. So we'll have a think. That will be coming up. Let's have a look. What else in... 
what, what else what was the final one in tier 3? Basic steel production. Okay, and it's about a lot of it's about these frames now. So we're, I need to do something to start making frames. There is another iron node just over there. So I could set up a separate little building dedicated to frames because yeah, it can all be done out of an iron node. They won't it won't be fast. But it would work. Okay, so that's another thing we could look at. Okay, we are about to unlock the game changer. Oh yeah! Oh no, I haven't got enough. <laughs> <gasps> Yeehaw! Boosh! <laughs> Milestone reached. Coal is an improved alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Note, ensure the close proximity of water to the coal production line. Note, pumps will aid in vertical transport of fluids through pipes. Note, throughput and volume indicators are added to each pipe section automatically. Awesome. We can now create a water extractor. What do we need for the water extractor? Oh, we need copper sheets. That's a whole nother ball game. I've got to set up something that makes copper sheets. How's a copper sheet made? Oh, straight from copper. Right, okay, so we need a, we need something dedicated to copper sheets. But we've got well, we've got enough of that, so I could probably just run a couple of machines creating some. I need to do something about my storage, because obviously that's becoming a little bit problematic over here. Yep, okay, so we can take care of copper sheets. What else do we need to do? Yeah, we can get... We could definitely build three in here, and that, that would definitely do for a start. Uh, we build three in there. Oh, there's a slug up there. Uh, we build three up there. I mean, it might be. Maybe this area up here is good enough as a starter power plant. Oh, there is another node up here, though, but I need... So it's another pure iron ore node. Oh, there's so much iron around here. It's brilliant. But maybe I could build it so it's actually over the water. That might look quite interesting with the pumps in front of it, and then it's kind of up on stilts. Hmm... A nice design, I think, might be possible here. I'm going to run up and get that slug. That's quite a pretty view from up here. Not seen it from this side. Oh no! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man! I don't even get to look at the pretty view then. Mr. Farty Pants plants up there. Oh well, I got my slug, and I am ready to carry on. We need to make something for building copper. I wanted to do something with iron. Oh, the frames. Hmm. I've just done some maths. Well, firstly, I cleared this area, and I put down the miner. And then I spotted there's actually two pure nodes there. So this is going to be interesting because this can now potentially be a much, much, much bigger project to make these frames. So basically, my maths are that I'm going to need the four smelters doubled. So I need something that's doing eight lots of smelting of all of this that will give me two lines of iron ingots. And then from there, I go into four uh, constructors making iron plates, six constructors making screws, eight constructors making rods, and then... 12 constructors making another set of screws and then five assemblers making the frames and that will give me 10 frames per minute which doesn't seem like very much for how much this is going to be yeah this is actually going to be a mammoth undertaking so this building here that's just doing the frames yeah but this this is going to be bigger than this so i don't think i can build it here so i might expand this building this way and do it like that but then I didn't want to do it all as like one big building so I might still just do it like this so what I might actually do I cleared this area in case I wanted to do it there but I don't know I think I might make it so I expand the base that way and then I actually build up on top here so it will be kind of like a big tall building up here that will then bring down back down modular frames and possibly some extra uh, plates Possibly. Yeah, this is going to be a monster undertaking. Let's have a let's have a look at this and see see what we've got to do here. And once again, my maths let me down. I don't know what I was talking about where I was going through that a minute ago. 
Um, <laughs> that is nonsense. I'm really struggling to figure out exactly what I need to be making here. But I've started off by building a... a <laughs> doing what I do and making it look kind of cool um, from these two miners. It's going to make a massive difference once I get Miner Mark IIs and the Mark IV belts because I'll be able to take into there nearly a thousand ore per minute, which means that I can have like 30 constructors making a ton of iron plates. But right now, I can only get 120 each side, and 120, that makes 80 iron plates, and one machine uses 90 iron plates to make three bolted plates. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit with my maths, but I'm just gonna keep going at it, and hopefully by the time I'm finished, there will be a really cool looking building here that will be at least making iron frames that should come out of there, and then come into my factory somehow. Whatever, anyway. Let's get on. You know when you start thinking about doing something, you don't quite realise how much effort it's going to be until you start? Uh, yeah. That's what that is over there. <laughs> this building is solely making modular frames. And that is it. From these two miners. I haven't connected it up yet. I'm pretty sure I've got it alright, but my goodness me. it There is so much going on, it is ridiculous. But let's go and connect it up. What I've created is a two-tier uh, building. Um, so the first section is this one over here, which just literally collects up the, the iron ore from below and smelts it. So basically up the top there we have ten smelters that are all processing from those two miners down there and then they send from these two runs here into the main building which is made up of three floors each floor kind of has its own function and then the top floor is what makes the frames and yeah it's a it's a quite a building i mean to be honest i did put a fair amount of effort into the design of it as well it's not perfect never is but it's pretty cool. But I want to turn it on now and find out if it's actually working. To power it on, I just need to connect this one. Here goes. Firstly, the miners will drill in and they will start obtaining iron ore. Which will run from these two belts here and go all the way up the top. As you can see, we will then start getting the iron ingots. It's built on an overflow based system, so it won't be running at full capacity until it's been running for a little while. And then eventually those two belts should be completely full. I quite like the symmetry that I've managed to achieve. There's a few little tweaks that I could definitely make. Seems as this is not supposed to be the main base, <laughs> this is all right. But we've got quite a view as we come up into the main entrance here. And then when we head into the first room, we should start to see what's going on. Down there we have eight constructors all making iron rods. Again, once this hits full capacity that will be streaming out of there nice and fast. On this side we will have four constructors making iron plates and one of them is overclocked a bit so that basically we're throwing out at least about a hundred per minute and that's enough for the time being. Once I have the Mark III belts though I'll be able to overclock them all and get a lot more iron plates coming out of here. So now we can head up to the second floor. I make it so that you go outside of the factory and up the side because I always think that makes it look a little bit more interesting. So this is our main second floor. It comes with balcony and large observation window. And here we can see there's a lot going on as well. Over here we can see that I have eight constructors that are generating a lot of screws, very much limited by the belt speed. So again, we need Mark III belts to really get the best out of this. But these screws are going over here, they go out of the window there, and then they come back in through the lower one, just for tidiness sake. Again, this is an overflow system, so it means that the first bunch need to fill up with all of their screws first, and then the rest will start getting theirs. This will then create these here reinforced plates. These then come and go up and out and up to the next floor. So let's head on up. And here we are at the next floor. Very simple floor, this one. As the reinforced plates get made, they will come into here. And also as the rods get made, they will drip feed into here as well. And eventually we will start seeing modular frames coming out from over there. And here we go. There are our first modular frames made from this system. It would definitely take a little while just to fill up and start running properly. But we're moving. We're grooving. It's all good. Yay! And there we have it. While it certainly isn't fast, it's creating modular frames. <laughs> what a project. That was awesome. Lots and lots of fun. But it does have a heck of a view out of the main window. Just look at that. That is so 
So cool, right? There's my humble beginnings over there, and this is the new bit. And of course, naturally this is causing me all sorts of power problems. So therefore, next time, we are definitely going to sort out the power once and for all by introducing coal. But man, this was a lot of fun, and I'm super glad that I undertook this project. I certainly won't be planning on getting rid of it. I might just fine-tune it, maybe even expand it, but this is going to really, really help me in the later game just for creating these things. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Also, hit the subscribe button. Click the little bell if you want to be notified when I put up the next videos. And yeah, great. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye. Bye.